Hey guys, Pump One here with you today. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over a couple different things with you. Uh, the primary focus being servicing a used pump. And we've, we've done a couple other videos and we've shown you uh, how to completely disassemble a, a, a pump all the way down from the rocker, the bottom check valve, the float. We've shown you how to set the float. But what we've had asked recently is a lot of questions as to, you know, what do we need to do when we just want to service a pump at a landfill? How far do we need to go? How far do we not need to go? So I just kind of want to go over a couple key things that, that you need today as far as equipment wise. Uh, first thing that's most important that you need is a tote. And, and this is just an empty tote. And what it is, it's just a descaling bath. And all it is is to let your pumps soak in this vat. Uh, you, you know, the longer the better, really. Uh, you know, you want to say at least a couple days. Um, and that just kind of allows any scaling to get freed up from the pump, allows things to, when you actually take it out, just allows it to clean up a little easier so you're not having to work as hard. Uh, the second thing is just a little vat. And all this does is this allows you to set the float or just assure that the trip points are set correctly on the float. So we'll go over that today. We'll make sure this pump is set correctly. This is just a pump that we've recently got in for repair, and we just kind of want to use it as a demonstration to go as, as far as stripping it down and show you how far we need to go and show you the process on all that. So what we're going to do, we're just going to start by removing this bottom check valve. Um, and what we've got here is just a bottom check valve wrench. Um, it's standard. It comes in all the toolkits uh, that we provide you guys. And if you don't have a toolkit um, and you have our pumps on, our, on your site, let us know. And, uh, and we'll provide you with one. <clears throat> and this will just spin right out. Why spinning that out, I, I kind of want to go over a, a key, uh, important thing on, on this pump. And as you can see, he's got this pump chucked in the, in the head of, the, of this vise. And it doesn't matter if you have a vise on the back of your truck, a shop vise, uh, whatever kind of vise, you just want to make sure that the point that you have secured is the head and not the casing. If he did have this casing uh, chucked in the vise, what would happen is is if there was a severe scaling and it, and it wasn't as loose as he wanted it to be, you would see that the whole pump would turn and then he really wouldn't be able to successfully remove that bottom check valve and he would eventually find out that he needs to chuck it up in the head. So that'll just kind of save you some time. So he's got his bottom check valve out. Uh, one thing I want to show you on this bottom check valve is some are dirtier than, uh, than others. Uh, this one isn't too bad. We actually have, have a video and it's just called breaking down a bottom check valve. And this just goes to show you how far we can break down a bottom check valve just in case we needed to replace the shuttle or do anything uh, along those lines. So we're just going to set that aside. And he's going to put his pump removal tool on. Again, it's just a, a part in your kit. And that just screws onto the inner outlet tube, the discharge tube of the pump. And then once that's on, he can just take it out. It's, 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 it's on pretty secure. And he can just tap it on, on the ground. And you'll see that the casing pops right out. And he can just pull the guts of the pump out. As you can see, there's quite a bit of scaling on this. But what we'll do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to take some time and we're just going to spray this pump off. Um, nothing really to, to show you there. It's just spraying the pump off, hosing it up and cleaning it up um, to where we can actually work on it. Okay. Now that we have this thing cleaned up and we've hosed it off and we've just kind of wiped everything down. You, you, you can see the scaling that was the excessive scaling that was actually on the top of the rockers and stuff literally just washed right off. So I, I cannot stress enough how important the, the, the soaking bath is and, and the longer the better. It's just going to make things so much easier uh, when it comes time to just inspecting the pump for servicing it. Um, we've got it standing up here. We just want to inspect a couple things. Uh, main thing, the actuator rod. We just want to check for damage. We just want to make sure that our uh, actuator, actuator brackets uh, set correctly. We just want to make sure our spring, there's no damage there and everything looks good. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is a very crucial part and we've actually just got a standard air fitting that's screwed into the top of this pump on the air inside of the pump and we're just going to hook air up to it and we're actually going to test uh, for any leaks or air ingression into the pumps. And while he's hooking that up I can just come here and show you and zoom in here, you can actually see um, 
the EX port, and that's just exhaust, and then IN, and that stands for air in. And that's where he's actually got the fitting uh, screwed in now, uh, is in the air in port. And these are your two magnet holes. Um, we'll explain, we'll go over that in, in other videos. But I just kind of wanted to show you the markings on the top of this head uh, so you can familiarize yourself with it when you're actually hooking this fitting in. And uh, so now he's got his fitting in here. We can just kind of go up and down with this float. And what we're doing here is we're, one, making sure that we're actually getting air ingression when the float trips and when it's back down and it's, and it's supposed to be sealed that we are in fact getting a good sealing point. And one thing we want to look for is we can't see any air so that's good. We can't hear any air which is, which is great. Now if, if we did, if we could see some, some bubbles coming in through here for some just some excess liquid that was left over uh, from the soaking bath or, or we could hear which would most of the time be your, your dead giveaway we would know that we would need to go in and actually adjust this valve uh, on the seat and actually just set it correctly. Now we've gone other, uh, we've done other videos and we've actually disassembled the, the rocker mechanism, we've fully reassembled the rocker mechanism and we've showed you in each one of those videos in full detail on how to set both the air valve and the exhaust poppet, which is, which is crucial, which you would need to know in a situation if you would if you would have an air leak. Uh, so we're just gonna go from here and we're actually gonna show you the actual trip points on the float. And when he unhooks that, you can see that you, you, you've got three different points, uh, a buoyancy point, a top trigger point, and a bottom trigger point. And when we actually start to, to test the trigger points of this float, we can go over all that. All right, 